and was again was going to have possession over time. I'm a desperate Sam Bankman fried testified in court this week, denying any wrongdoing between FTX and Alameda Research, despite admitting big mistakes. Uh, San SBF Bankman Freed took the stand this week to testify in his ongoing criminal trial in the Southern District of New York, denying any wrongdoing between FTX and Alameda and research Sam Safe while acknowledging making big mistakes during the company's fast paced growth. His official testimony started on October 27th after a hearing on the previous day without the jurors present. During the hearing, Bankman Freed struggled to answer questions raised by government attorneys, or as he appeared much better prepared the following day to face the jury. A few highlights of Bankman Freed's testimony this week include denying directing his inner circle to make millionaire political donations in 2021, as well as claims that FTX's term of uses covered transactions between Alamir and the crypto exchange. Moreover, the former CEO stated that he had requested additional hedging strategies for Alameda throughout 2021 and 2022 were never implemented. And the defense is expected to conclude Ben and Freed's examination on October 30th, followed by the prosecution's cross-examinations and closing arguments from both sides. Prosecutors also hinted about a possible rebuttal witness next week, someone who was called to prove that the testimony of another witness is false or inaccurate. Uh, Bangman Freed could be jailed for 115 years if found guilty of all fraud and conspiracy counts. Cointelegraph's on-the-ground coverage of his testimony is summarized below. Uh, Bangman Freed uh, denied in court having directing Ryan Salome, uh, former co-CEO of FTX uh, Digital Markets, and Nishad Singh, former director of engineering, uh, to funnel millions of dollars in contributions, uh, political campaigns. Um, according to data available on Open Secret, Singh gave $8 million to federal campaigns in the 2022 election cycle. Salame also donated $10 million to politicians via loans from Alameda to via uh, systems. Um, even though Bankman Freed uh, denied instructing uh, both to make political contributions, he recognized that lobbying in Washington, D.C. played a key role in his efforts to push a regulatory framework for crypto firms in the United States during 2021. According to prosecutors, Bankman Freed used funds from customers' deposits on FTX to make more than $100 million in political campaign contributions ahead of the 2022 midterm elections. Bankman Freed denied any wrongdoing during his testimony, asserting that FTX had more than a billion dollars in revenue in 2021 and that political donations were made from the exchange's own to funds. Maxine Waters is chairing the investigation into FTX. Uh, Bankman Freed had a guideline for employees' communication at FTX and Alameda Research, the New York Times test. Uh, based on the informal test, employees should not write anything they wouldn't be comfortable seeing on the front page of the newspaper. According to Bankman Freed, even harmless things could look pretty bad out of context. So employees should be sure to always provide sufficient context in written messages. Uh, uh, Bankman Freed uh, described the test as part of his explanation of why more than 200 channels on Signal had an auto-delete policy that permanently deleted messages after a week. Uh, prosecutors used evidence of the auto-delete feature in the previous days to suggest that any wrongdoing between the companies is being covered up. According to Bankman Freed, Official communications and problems, regulatory paperwork were handled through other channels such as Slack or email, but Signal was the choice for daily communication within the companies. Bankman Freed provided details about Alameda's billionaire line of credit with FTX. According to his testimony, Alameda served as FTX's payment provider for wire transactions while the exchange was unable to have its own account. Uh, besides being a payment processor, um, uh, Alameda was also the primary liquidity provider, uh, market maker, and a client of FTX. As a liquidity provider and market maker, Alameda would have to step in and cover customer losses if FTX's risk engine failed. 
During his testimony, Bankman Free provided an example of the failure of the risk engine that resulted in Alameda covering millions of dollars in losses in 2021. Uh, the nature of Alameda's role in the exchange's operations uh, prompted custom features in FTX's code, such as the ability to go negative uh, via a line of credit without activating the risk engine. Um, according to Bankman Freed, the exemption was necessary to prevent Alameda's potential liquidation, which would negatively impact the crypto markets. As a client of FTX, um, Alameda was also able to borrow funds by depositing collateral in the exchange. Uh, the terms of use of FTX allow borrowers to use funds in Hayward suits, uh, the investigation and model, and ask the second to go to the ID overseas. And as I get to vacate in Hayward suits, uh, Alameda's line of credit with FTX grew along with the crypto industry. During the bull market, uh, Bankman Free discussed hedging strategies with Caroline Ellison, former CEO of Alameda Research in 2021 and 2022 while seeking to shield the trading platform from a possible market downturn. According to his testimony, Bankman Freed asked Ellison to hedge $2 billion in Bitcoin against a possible price decline in 2021. The strategy was never implemented, he told jurors. Notes of Ellison shared as evidence by prosecutors revealed that Bankman Freed was freaking out about hedging in early 2022. The defense used the evidence uh, to illustrate that hedging was one of Bankman Freed's highest concerns and, and discussed with Ellison frequently um, without appropriate hedging in place. Alameda was significantly harmed by the Terra ecosystem collapse and decline in crypto prices. In September 2022, Bankman Freed learned the liability between the companies had grown from $2 billion a year before to over $8 billion. I was very surprised he claimed in court stating that he believed Alameda's assets outweighed its liabilities by nearly $10 billion. According to Bankman Freed, FTX's terms of use include a clawback provision that would socialize losses among customers using margin trade and futures contracts in the event that the exchange's risk engine fails. Uh, the document presented in court states that if FTX could not cover losses related to spot margins and futures, damages would be shared among all customers. Defense lawyers use the provision to argue that customers trading foreign FTX were aware of the risks involved.